Victoria Elizabeth Marie, my most precious, precious little angel. From the moment I looked into your beautiful eyes, I knew that was a love that will last a lifetime. Nobody on earth shares a relationship as strong or as perfect as what we hold in our hearts as mother and daughter. I remember the night that you came into this world as if it were just last night. Everyone said, it's a girl, and mommy replied, it's a what? As I was in complete and utter shock. I had my mindset that you were a boy. I had even bought you a blue and white fleece blanket. I didn't want to tell anybody that deep inside my soul I wanted a little girl so badly. I thought if I said it out loud, it would jinx my chances. At that very moment in my life, and even to this very day, I have never felt so exhilarated and so perfect. Now I had everything I had ever wanted, a smart, handsome, sweet little man, and now this precious, perfect jewel of a princess had been blessed upon us, the greatest gift that God had ever given to me. I remember so vividly when Darren held you in his arms for the very first time. The overwhelming and unexplainable joy that was overflowing from my heart. I had and have never again felt so complete. I never imagined in a million years thought that a part of my very existence would be missing from my life. I know, baby, that no matter where you are, no matter how far that you feel me, Victoria, you feel my love, my sorrow, my strength, and above all else, you feel how very much my heart is aching without you. Mommy knows exactly what you're feeling inside of you because you are a part of me. We are fighters, chubs, and we are determined. And nobody can keep us from getting what we want, Tori, and I know that you want to come home. We have never in eight years, ten months, and three days been away from each other for this long. With every single second that goes by, you're in my thoughts, and with every single minute that passes, the more determined I become to get you back home, to your mama, to your family, and back into my arms, right where you belong. One of the many things that keeps me strong and keeps me fighting is the thought of holding you in my arms and smelling your hair, stroking your little ears, and hearing your sweet little voice saying, I love you, mama, and I missed you. You and your brother are my greatest accomplishments, Victoria, and we share a bond that will conquer anything that anybody has ever thrown our way. I will find you my baby no matter what it takes. You know in your heart and soul that I'm going to do anything it takes to bring you back where you belong. I miss you so, so much, my princess, and Mama knows that you miss me too. I'm trying very hard to do what you learned at Sunday school shortly before you were taken from me. You taught Mommy and James and Darren that we need to love our enemies. So I have given up on trying to figure out why this awful person or persons have done this to our family, and Mommy's going to take your advice. I'm going to take all of the negativity, the anger, the pain that we are feeling, and I'm going to turn it all into strength, stubbornness, and determination and use it in a positive way. I'm going to love my enemies, and while I'm praying for you and your safe return, I'm going to pray that whoever it is that has my princess will find the compassion within their own hearts to do the right thing and to feel the pain that not only your family is feeling, but that the entire world is feeling with us. As your mommy, I know how your beautiful and shining little face and personality can reach into the depths of my soul on even my crabbiest of days and make it bright, as I know it has now touched every single person who has heard what we are going through. I just need you to be strong, baby, and have faith that we are coming for you, and we will never, ever give up. We will take all of the negative things that people are saying, turn it into positive energy, and use our love for you to guide us to find you. You are my best friend, Victoria, as I knew you would be from the day that you were born. I love you more than anything in this world, and our love will bring us together again. The strength of our family foundation grows stronger every second of every day, and together with all of the people who are touched by your gorgeous smile, those humongous blue eyes, your beautiful blonde hair, and the mischievous little twinkle, we will bring you home. Sunday was supposed to be another one of our special Mother's Days. You and Darren always had something so incredible that you both created for me at school. I have never felt so empty and so helpless as I did that day. Not hearing your sweet little voice saying Happy Mother's Day absolutely broke my heart in a trillion pieces. I closed my eyes many times throughout the day and felt you here with me, and if I listened close enough, I could hear you say, I love you more, Mommy. Victoria, I need you home so badly, and I will stop at nothing until you're here, and that's a promise. You are a very part of me, and you have to know that I cannot live without you. We all are missing you so much, but our love for you is so strong that it will keep us all going until you are home. I love you with every single fiber of my being, Chub Chubs, and Mommy will have you in my arms soon. Stay strong, Princess, and don't doubt for a second that we are coming for you, and you will once again be safe. Always and forever, Mama.